Happy Friday, Kinder Friends! This video is a brief overview of the core subject area lessons we're going to be working on today. We discussed the lessons for Social Studies, STEM, Health, Art, Gym, and Music in Monday's video. So if you're looking for help in those areas, check out that video. Let's get started with reading. In reading today, we are finishing up our I Like Vegetables story. Today, you can review the vocabulary, and they're suggesting you can even read it to a pet or a stuffed animal, because you've probably been practicing this book lots of times this week. Now they're telling you you can add a new page to the book. So using the pattern that we've read on all the other pages, what are what is another vegetable you could add to this book? So you should be able to find a blank piece of paper or just write on the back of one of the pages that's in your packet. And then again, we're working on our letter sounds and our decodable words. Do your best, stretch them out, try to see how fast you can go. Then we've got our rhyming ad word family. If you're following along, today we're going to be on Make It Fancy. Read the word, then write it using fancy letters, marker, markers, or cramps. Then we're learning a new sight word today. Our new sight word is the word get. We spell it like this, G. E T get G is a tail letter that means it goes below the line E is a short letter and T is a tall letter we're gonna write them in the boxes then you're gonna write them on the lines get 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 then like always you're gonna draw a picture and write a sentence using the word get like I can't wait to get a new toy or I went to go get my brother for dinner. You can be creative with this sentence. There's also an optional song for you guys to practice your word get. Writing. Writing this week, we're working on opinion writing. Here's your prompt for today. Where would you want to live? Oh my goodness, those are good choices. We've got a castle, a farm, a cave, ooh, spooky, or a cabin or you could pick anywhere. Where would you want to live? Maybe you really like your house and you just want to live in your house. That's okay. Write a couple sentences about where you want to live. Then you've got your choice of what you want to write for your opinion writing. This is our last optional um, opinion writing of the week. So if you have time, go ahead and write your opinion about something. If we don't have time, that's okay. Remember, this is optional. And math. Math today, we're doing two pages in your workbook. Now, this is what the first page looks like. It's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to show you what it looks like in your math book. There, that's a lot easier to see. Here are the instructions. It's telling you to do something different with each of these shapes on different um, shelves. So, let's look at the first one. It says, ring all of the objects that are shaped like cubes. Here's a cube. It looks like a block. So you're going to circle all of the shapes on the top shelf that are cubes. Then it says, ring all of the shapes, all of the shaped like cylinder objects on the middle shelf. Here's a cylinder. Remember, it looks like a soda can. Circle all of the cylinders on the second shelf in the middle. Then it says, ring the objects shaped like spheres on the bottom shelf. A sphere looks like this. It looks like a ball. So circle all of the spheres on the bottom shelf. So cubes on the top, cylinders in the middle, and spheres on the bottom shelf. Got it? Then here's what the back of your page looks like. It says color each kind of shape. So you're going to be coloring your cubes all one color, your cylinders all one color, your cones all one color, and your spheres all one color. So just to remind you, here's what a cone looks like. I have my cubes as blue, and my cylinder is purple, and my sphere is orange, and my cone is yellow. So that's the colors I'm going to use to color in the shapes. But you can decide what you want to do when you're coloring in those shapes. Okay? Then there's some optional games for you to play here. They've got some links. You can type those into your computer, um, and they'll bring you to games for you to play when you are all done with your math worksheets today. All right, kinder friends, that's it. That's all we have for you this week. Remember, don't stress about this. Do what you can. Take lots of breaks. And remember, you are smart, kinder friends. Have a happy Friday and a good weekend. I'll talk to you on Monday. Bye-bye.